Good morning, lovely people. So I went to bed missing my village and I woke up and I still miss my village, guys. So in today's video, I am taking you all the way to Ostrasi in the Eastern region. Like my whole morning routine today is going to be how I will live in the village. Like everything. I will show you my typical morning routine um, in my village. And I think it's even common to every other village in Ghana. Like we do most common things together. So this is me looking outside and looking how beautiful the clouds are forming. And I am grateful to God. It's not easy to go to bed and wake up, um, you know, full of life, seeing your family kicking. It's just the grace of God. I'll go ahead and have my quiet time and we will delve deep into this video, okay? The morning begins with some personal hygiene. So I am brushing my teeth with an African chew stick. Guys, this chewing stick is everything. It makes your teeth white. Oh my goodness. And it works very, very well. It works best than all this modern toothpaste. Trust me, you can try it, guys. In addition, this chewing stick also contains volatile oils, um, tannic acid, sulfur, and steroids, which attribute to the antiseptic estrogen and also has some bacterial properties that helps um, to reduce plague formation. And it also eliminates bad odor. Trust me on this. <laughs> it also improves the sense of taste and cure many systemic diseases. Guys, the sense of taste, I am a living testimony. Whenever I use this, my taste bud is different. Yes. Guys, try this. Okay, try it. It is so good. So I head over to sweep and this kind of sweeping is a form of exercise. Guys, it will make you a champion, a village champion. Like it will give you muzzles. Yes. <laughs> also in a typical village, we use um, a broom that is made of palm tree. And I will put a, an image on the screen so you have an idea. Yes, that is the broom we use in a typical, typical village. And trust me, it cleans the compound like, like so, so neat. It cleans it and it does the job so perfect. And when I'm done, I will take the trash to the trash can. But in a typical village, usually they have like a dumpster. So you just go there and you put, um, you throw your trash away on the dumpster bittersweet and i'm walking slow sensitive feel the afterglow looking for things that i can't control fear from my past cause it always shows do I wanna try? Can I let it go? Running from the past, wanting to be sure. Chaos in my mind, constant deja vu. But every time, it comes back to you. Whoa. Most households in villages have a farm most of them because they are used into planting things and they love to eat like the natural um, food stuff 
right from the farm no um what do you call it chemicals no sprays whatsoever so most households have their own family um farms so in my village back home we have a farm so i am just demonstrating here how i will go to the farm and get some fresh vegetables that i will use to cook you know yes this is a small garden my mom did and guys we have been like eating the tomatoes like crazy and it's so delicious let me know in the comment section by showing your hands up if this is something you do in your village guys uh once a while you do it here but a lot of people have dishwashers and in the villages back in my country ghana no we don't have any dishwasher you have to apply manpower right <laughs> So this is how we clean our utensils and trust me this is even more cleaner yes more more cleaner bittersweet and i'm walking slow sensitive feel the afterglow Looking for things that I can't control Fear from my past cause it always shows Do I wanna try? Can I let it go? Running from the past, wanting to be sure Chaos in my mind, constant deja vu But every time, it comes back to you Whoa, I'm still falling favorite chores um growing up every saturday morning you pack your dainty clothes and you wash them oh in as much as i loved it sometimes it was really really hard when the sun is high and scorchy uh, you don't want to sit under the sun and do it but you have to do it because on monday you will need that you um school uniform to go to school so it was a must you know a friend will say you must to you must to do it yes <laughs> so this is me showing you how we do it in my village okay you wash with your hand you have your soap in there and you apply pressure let there be some pressure okay and i love this method because it makes me get to every point like the vital point um on the clothes like the armpits you know the linings on the um hand and if it's a trouser like the linings on the tips and every part of it usually when you use a washing machine it doesn't do much you know it doesn't do much so when i use this method um it makes you touch every part every important part of the cloth and it makes it clean and clean and clean so this is how we do it in the village and i still do it you know i i don't wash any other clothes in my washing um machine i just don't put anything in there some especially my church clothes and stuff like that usually i wash with my hand yeah and i love 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 this method okay and guys these are new clothes that has not been worn that is why you can see that i have both the colored cloth and the white cloth in the same bowl and i tested to see that none of them fades okay usually i don't wash white things with colored items i do it separately but this is new my husband hasn't worn it and i was just using it for the video to show you how i do it okay in my village all right let me know in the comment section if this is how it goes down in your village as well 
or whichever part of the country that you come from. Let me know how you do it, okay? Bittersweet and I'm walking slow Sensitive, feel the afterglow Looking for things that I can't control Fear from my past cause it always shows Do I wanna try, can I let it go? Running from the past, wanting to be sure Chaos in my mind, constant deja vu But every time and spread the clothes on a drying rack and this is how we make it dry but back home in a typical village we will either put the clothes like on stones or on um if there is a wall around the house we just throw the clothes on the wall or better still we can just tie like a rope in between two trees and we we'll make like a line and we will just hang the items on it but here i couldn't get anything and i just used my drying rack to show you trust me some people have not even seen this method before yes trust me on that <laughs> so this is how i'm gonna keep the clothes dry okay Bittersweet and I'm walking slow Sensitive, feel the afterglow Looking for things that I can't control Fear from my past cause it always shows Do I wanna try, can I let it go? Running from the past, wanting to be sure Chaos in my mind, constant deja vu it will be great to implement this method under a scorching sun and when the wind is blowing. And now lunch is ready. Some Kobe with egg and some spinach. Oh my god. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Love you.